Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we're going to unbox the Alcatel OneTouch Idle 3. So let's get into it. Alcatel OneTouch have been making some headlines recently, and mostly for positive reasons with the release of their latest device, the Idle 3. The Idle 3 comes in two sizes, a 4.7 inch and a 5.5 inch display. The device in this video is the 5.5 inch and considered the more premium version of the Idle 3. You can pick up the Idle 3 on Amazon for only $249 off contract. Now I know what you might be thinking, this is a budget phone with probably mediocre specs and really nothing to write home about. Well, one might have the right to think so with an off-contract price so low, but I'm here to tell you that this is not the case with the Idle 3. The Idle 3 packs an octa-core processor clocking in at 1.5GHz and 1GHz respectively. With 2GB of RAM and an Adreno 405 GPU, the Idle 3 is really no pushover in the hardware department. The Idle 3 also comes in a 16 or 32 gigabyte variant and memory is expandable up to 128 gigabytes via micro SD card. Taking a look around the device on the front you will find your 5.5 inch 1080p display with a pixel density of 401 ppi. The display is really crisp and beautiful and probably one of the best I have seen for a phone of this price point. You will also find your 8 megapixel front facing camera and a pair of front facing speakers. The front-facing speakers play an important part in one of the phone's main feature. The Idle 3 is fully reversible. What does this mean? Well, the weight distribution of the phone is rather even throughout, and so if you were to pick up the phone upside down per se, you can use the phone without really noticing a difference or noticing that you actually have it upside down. Since there are microphones and speakers on both the top and bottom, you won't even notice a difference when making phone calls. This feature might seem a little gimmicky, but it's actually pretty cool. The back of the device is pretty plain. You will find your 13 megapixel camera and some Alcatel and Idle 3 branding. The right side is where you'll find your volume up and down toggle, and the left side is where you'll find your micro SD card tray and SIM card tray and your power button. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the power button being on the left side, but the Idle 3 does offer a double tap to wake and sleep the device, so it's really not that bad. The Idle 3 is lightly skinned and running Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. The major differences in the UI come with a few added features. For starters, the lock screen is home to a feature called Funk. F-U-N-C. This displays a few convenient shortcuts on the bottom of your lock screen, and with a few double taps you can access apps like your calculator, music app, and even a QR code scanner. Also something a bit different is the ability to access your quick toggles from the lock screen. The rest of the UI will feel rather familiar given its close to stock Android-like feel. A lot of the stock Alcatel apps are very similar to stock Android, and the Idle 3 also comes with some other pre-installed apps such as Adobe Reader, an antivirus, and WhatsApp, which can all be uninstalled if you choose to do so. I will save my thoughts on the camera for the final review, but I just want to see how quick focusing and taking a photo would be, and the Idle 3 seemed to have passed the test with flying colors. Alright guys, so this has been an unboxing and a quick look at the Alcatel One Touch Idle 3. As I mentioned before, this phone will run you $249 off contract, and I will leave a link to the description below as to where you can pick that up. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one or other videos I might have in the future. And as always guys, I will see you in the next one.